All right, we are living in difficult times and with everything going on, your emotions can take a hit, especially when it comes to grief. Therapist Crystal Ships offered guidance on how to begin dealing so you can start healing. How do we deal emotionally with the loss of you know, well, such things as, you know, graduations, sports tournaments, weddings, these big things in people's life that we've planned for and now they're gone? Well, we are all kind of dealing with a collective grief right now. Um, and I think it's really just important to let yourself feel whatever you're feeling. You know, if it's anger, if it's frustration, if it's just sadness, like gut, gut-wrenching sadness, let yourself feel that. A lot of times we're not good at letting ourselves truly feel how we're feeling. So it's okay to feel sad. It's okay for those feelings of, of grief and emotion to overwhelm us at times like this. So, so sit in that feeling and accept it and to know that it's okay. Absolutely. I think you would be kind of a monster if you didn't feel that way, right? This is a human experience that we're all kind of trying to navigate. Sure, and we all process it differently, especially our kids. How do we help yeah. our kids uh, when they're feeling these different feelings of grief? Are they going through different stages or just how do we support them? Absolutely, a lot of times kids' anxiety and worry and grief looks like acting out right? It looks like isolation. It looks like maybe withdrawing. Um, if your kid is, is acting in a way that, that just is very uncharacteristic, it may be time for a, a conversation about, you know, hey, what's really going on? And, and just accepting whatever they, whatever they want to share. So I know this happens to a lot of people. What if we feel guilty for feeling this feeling of grief when others have it so much worse than we do? Right. Well, we don't have to compare our pain, right? Your feelings are just as valid as the next person's. So just because maybe you still have work and your best friend doesn't have a job anymore doesn't mean that you don't get to be sad. We don't have to, to look to one another to see how much we can feel and how much we should just try not to feel. I know I personally am still having a hard time wrapping my head all the way around it. And there's probably others of us, us who just can't accept what go, what's going on. What if I can't accept uh, that all of this is happening and, and you know, can't wrap my mind around it? Any advice for us? Sure, I'm, I'm in the same boat with you. Um, I think that the more that you can't accept that it's happening, the more you're gonna struggle. So the closer you can get to acceptance, the less you're gonna struggle on a day-to-day -day basis. Acceptance doesn't mean that we like it or that we're okay with it, or that we're not grieving. It just means that we accept that it is what it is, and this is kind of what we have to deal with right now. It is what it is. Good tips from Crystal. Thank you.